Okay, for the eyes, you're going to need a little bit of black gum paste, not too much. And we're just gonna form two little black balls to put inside the eyes. Okay, so you wanna look at the holes that you made for the eyeballs and more or less figure out a size of ball that will fit in there. You don't want the top of the eye to be flattened. You actually want it to be round and sticking up just a tiny little bit out of the, out of the socket. So take a little bit of shortening if you need it. Need your gum paste. And we're gonna just, just take one, one little tiny ball just to test it to see how it fits. Oops, lost an eyeball. That's actually kind of cute right there. So, once you find a, a size eye that you like, okay, make it into a perfect circle. And now, of course, you're going to make a second one the same exact size as the first. Too big. Test your second eye just to make sure. Sometimes we don't always make the sockets, you know, the exact same size, so you might have to mess around with the sizes, but believe it or not, that's actually perfect, okay? So I'm gonna put away the rest of my black gum paste to make sure it doesn't dry on me. Roll, make sure that your, your little black eyes are the same size and perfectly round, crack-free and wrinkle-free. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of edible glue, just enough to make it stick and you're gonna put it inside the eye. A little bit in there. And a little bit in there. Okay, I'm gonna drop one eye in there. And drop the other eye. And you don't wanna press down too hard because then you're gonna flatten them. Okay, if you see a little bit of glue being squeezed out, that means we put too much and just go in there and quickly wipe it. Wipe it on your paper towel and then wipe. Okay. So there is your little elephant so far. Okay, the last thing we want to do to our little elephant before we let him dry for a good day or day and a half is add a little tail to his body. Okay, so this is really easy to do. All you're gonna need is a very small amount of gray gum paste. And I would say, because he is kind of little, maybe just a little marble size of gum paste will do, and you're probably gonna actually cut some of this off. Okay, so get a little bit of shortening if you have to, and knead your gum paste till it's nice and pliable. Okay, roll it in a ball. Make sure you get all your wrinkles and cracks out. And then you're gonna place it on your table and start to roll a worm. And then what you want to start doing is make one end pointy, okay, so you can see one pointy end. And then right about here, you're going to press and make this part a little bit skinnier. So really what you're doing is trying to make like an arrow shape or like an arrowhead. Okay, I don't know if you
if you can see that shape there. Okay. And then you're going to make the rest of it skinny. So make sure you leave that little arrowhead shape on the top. So I already know this is too long. I'm not going to need all this. Okay, so essentially this is the shape you want the tail to be. And then what I'm going to do is with my finger press the arrowhead part down and flatten it. So that's what it looks like. And then what I'm going to do is take either, you can use your knife blade on your shell tool, your Wilton shell tool. I really like, like I said, my letter opener because it's, it's kind of sharp. So if you want to use a, a knife that's not serrated or, you know, whatever sharp tool you happen to have around the house. And then just on the arrowhead part, I'm going to start to carve some little lines. And just on one side, because the other side of this tail is going to be glued on the body of the elephant. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We're trying to mimic little hair on the end of the tail. Okay, just to give it a little bit of depth. So that's what it should look like. Okay. So I'm going to test out my tail, the length of it, and just to see. I want it to curl. So this is pretty much all I'm going to need. So just with my finger, I can actually pinch this piece off that I don't need anymore. Okay. Pinch the end to make sure it's flat because we're going to want it to go underneath his butt, okay? So the side that's going to be glued against the body, you're going to want to put edible glue on that, okay? So grab your little brush and your edible glue. And I'm going to put just a little bit of glue on the back of the tail that's going to be touching the elephant. You don't want to drench it with glue, just very little. Remember, the more glue you add, the longer it's going to take to dry. You just need enough to get it to stick. And then add a little bit on the end that's going to go underneath the elephant's butt. Okay. So you guys have seen this straight edge tool that I like. It's my medium sized ball tool. This is by Studio, Sculpey Studio. You can get these at any craft store, Michaels or Hobby Lobby. And I love this rubber edge. It bends and it's straight. And I promise you will find a million uses for this thing. So here's one example where you can use it. I'm gonna place the little elephant tail right on his butt. Press the little tail up against the body. Twist the tail. <coughs> Then I take my straight edge and press it underneath the body. Okay. And if you want to make it a little bit cuter, instead of putting this part of the tail where the hair is all the way flat on the elephant, you can actually just lift lift and curl the end and that looks really cute. I don't know if you guys can see that. So just lift and curl the end there. Okay. So there is the tail. And just press it up against the body so you're sure that it's secure. Okay. So there's your little elephant and now you just let this dry for a good uh, at least half a day depending on where you are. Some of your gum paste figures dry very very quickly in dry climates like ours. If you live in a humid area I would probably give it a good two days to completely dry.
Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the, the facial features.